I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Yandere Simulator. Now, a feature that hasn't been in the game for a long time is now in this very build right now. We are going to check it out, and we are going to experiment a few things with that new thing in the game. So if you guys are cool with that and you're down with that, everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go. So the reason why I'm starting off in the room is because the anime that is in Yanchan's room now has voice acted lines. I want to see how that is because I tried to voice act it in a previous video, and I want to see if they did a better job than I did. The young woman struggled to calm her trembling hands. Dang, this guy's already doing a way better she job than I did. She could maintain a grip on her pen. Steady, Yamako. You can't afford to screw this up. Once her pen touched the paper, she would only have 60 seconds to achieve her goal. That was one of the rules. She knew exactly what she wanted to write down. This guy got that voice that turns on nuns. She reversed it a dozen times on a spare scrap of paper. Each time, she just barely succeeded in finishing within 60 seconds. No more stalling. It's now or never. She took a deep breath and began to write. Asuka Seto will obtain a pipe wrench, a power strip, and a screwdriver. She will use the wrench to loosen the nearest water pipe and create a puddle of water. 30 seconds remaining. Her time was running out. She will place a power strip in the puddle and use the screwdriver to expose the wires. Then, she will activate the power strip and stand in the puddle. The moment she finished writing, the ink on the notebook turned blood red. This meant that her 60 seconds were up. And it also meant that the command was in effect. Several kilometers away, at the Tokyo Metropolitan Police Department, a young policewoman, in the middle of a conversation with her colleagues, abruptly stopped talking and left the room. Uh-oh. She walked to the nearest storage closet and obtained a pipe wrench and a screwdriver. She carried out the actions that Yamiko had written in her notebook. And when she stepped into the puddle, she screamed in pain as thousands of volts of electricity ran through her body, fatally electrocuting her. Good. She was dead before her body hit the ground. What have I done? You know what you did. It was the first time Yamiko had used the notebook to kill an innocent person. In the beginning, she only intended to use the notebook to rid the world of evil. She targeted violent criminals, child molesters, and so forth. Dozens of mysterious deaths were too suspicious to be overlooked. And so an official police investigation had begun. Detective Seto had come too close to figuring out that Yamiko was the person responsible for the mysterious deaths. I'm not the bad guy here. She had to die. If I didn't kill her, she would have exposed me. And then I wouldn't be able to keep fighting evil. All right, whatever Yamiko helps you sleep at night. felt as though the room was spinning around her. She desperately tried to convince herself that her actions were justified. I did what I had to do. It was the only way to continue fighting evil. The world needs me. I need to keep using the notebook because this world is a rotten mess. It really needs to be cleaned up. Life Note, Episode 7 end wow they did 1000 times better obviously than i did <laughs> okay i just wanted to see that but now let's get into the juicy stuff and let's head to academy high okay so the first thing that we're gonna check out says if a student finds a pool of blood they will walk over to it and investigate it after confirming that they have discovered blood the student will run and tell a teacher the student and teacher will run to the location where the blood was spotted if the teacher doesn't find blood she will assume she is being pranked and return to the faculty room 
If the teacher does find blood, she will call police. So usually when there used to be blood in the school, they were kind of just like, eh, whatever, it's just blood. We see it all the time. But now they're going to be like, holy shit, dude, there's some blood on the floor. So we got to make that happen right now. And our first victim, of course, is going to be Midori because she's always hanging around here. So we just got to do what we do. So we got a whole blood trail right here. But we are not going to keep the body here. We're going to take the body with us. And let's just see how they react to this long pool of blood right here. Here we go. Is that blood? Who reacted to that? Oh, they're going to check it. Yo, that's dope. They look like a whole team investigating it. Are they going to smell it? They're going to taste it? Yo, that is legit. I should probably tell the teacher. That's scary. It doesn't feel safe here. Who said that? Pink-haired pussy boy? I think that was him. Yeah, he looks like he's running like he's not going to tell the teacher. But what I'm going to do, guys, I am going to clear all sins or forgive all sins. And they said, hey, I found some blood on the ground. Blood? That sounds bad. Show me. Yes, that sounds a little, little bad. And let me laugh so I don't look batshit crazy. <laughs> Let's clear that up. Yeah, there you go. Laugh it up. Laugh it up like you're watching a Cub Scout video. I've instructed to call the police if I found blood on the school premises. Wait, what? I didn't hear the rest that you said. There may be a violent criminal at Academy High School. We need the police right away. So that's what they say when they have the blood. I didn't read what the other thing said. It happened so fast. Let me try it again just so I know exactly what they say. Actually, before I even do anything, let me dispose of Midori's body and let's see how the police react to just finding blood, but they can't find a body. So let's go to the garden area and oh my god, this can't be happening. This can't be happening to me Why the hell are you still here? Okay, let me dump that ass inside here because the incinerator has everybody near it And hold on. I need the bucket cuz fuck it. Let's put it right under here And there we go activate. So let's throw the knife in here And activate and now we should be good. So let's end the day and let's see how the police react to blood the police arrive at school. The police are unable to locate any corpses on school grounds. The police are unable to locate any murder weapons. The police question all students in the school, including Ayane. The police are unable to link Ayane to any crimes. Okay, so the police come to school, but even if there's just blood, they can't do anything about it. They were unable to find anything at all. So obviously they let everybody go because if you just find blood there and no body and no weapon, you can't arrest anybody because you have no evidence. I just wanted to see if they would say anything new. Okay, so we're going to keep using Midori because I kind of like this method. I kind of like the amount of people that are up here. There's not too many and they don't come that quick and pause on that. So we are just going to keep using this method to determine like the blood and the limbs and all that stuff. So let's get the blood trail here again. And then we're going to hide Midori's body. Let's keep it right here for now. And then let's forgive our sins so we can watch them investigate the pool of blood because I want to see it up close. Wait, why is Midori's body there? I think it's because I teleported. Damn it. Okay, let's pick the body up again and let's do this. Midori, don't disobey me this time. All right, here we go, guys. They're walking up to it. They didn't see it yet. I want to see what their faces look like once they see the blood. Is that blood? Great reaction, guys. Great reaction. They're just like, is that blood? Whoa, blood. Can't wait to see it. Can't wait to touch it. Can't wait to smell it. Okay, they're investigating to make sure it's not just whatever they think it is. That's scary. It doesn't feel safe here. Like, they're looking at the blood super hard. I could notice blood as soon as I open the door. As soon as I'm like this, I'm like, whoa, blood. So the reason why I did this is because I want to see what the teacher says. So I got to read really fast. I've been instructed to call the police if I find blood on the premises. I wish I didn't have to do this, but it's mandatory. There may be a violent criminal at Academy High. We need the police right now. Okay, so that's what she said. So let's try a few more things with the blood and let's see how they react to that. Actually, let me just take the mop right now and let me just start mopping the blood. I want to see what she does about that. She's probably going to like pin me to the ground. She's probably going to like do a 360 kick on me. So let's dip this in here and let me just start mopping the blood. Here we go. <laughs> Oh my god, this can't be happening. Come on, teacher, turn around. Gotta get to safety. She's not even turning around. I damn near mopped all the blood, and she still didn't turn around. Here we go. Right here. Bam. What's up, teach? You, you're trying to cover up a crime, aren't you? No, I'm just being a good student. Okay, so when a teacher sees you mopping up the blood, she thinks that you're trying to cover up a crime. What if a teacher says that she saw blood on the roof, but when she gets up there, there's no blood on the roof, but I'm just sweeping up there. Okay, so the students found the blood. They're about to tell a teacher. Let me just get this ready so we can mop up everything that we need to do. Yeah, they're investigating the footprint, actually. 
So that's the thing that I got to mop up. Okay, she said, hey, I found some blood on the ground. Blood, that sounds bad. Show me. Okay, we got to make sure we mop this all up. Come on, 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 come on. All right, get this in here. Come on, dip it. Why won't you dip? Come on, dip. There you go. Oh, damn, they're going to run up here too. Clean all this up. Come on. And then clean this up. And then let's just start sweeping. Let's see what she does. Oh, shit. You, you're trying to cover up a crime. She knew it. She knew that we were Stop doing it. Right Stop now. right now. No. Okay, so that's great. Oh. So there wasn't any blood on the ground, but we were just mopping around that area where the blood supposedly was. And she still thought that we were trying to cover up a crime, so that's good. Okay, so we know how they react when they see blood. How about we start leaving limbs around the school, and let's see what people say about that. Okay, so I'm actually going to go in cyborg mode so we can actually make this very clean and smooth. We're going to grab this. Hopefully Midori's up there. Yes, she still is. So let's chop this up like a pizza pie. And let's just leave the head. We're just gonna leave the head. The thing that sucks about this Easter egg is that I move super fast, so I gotta turn myself really slow. Like, look at this. Look how fast I am with this mop. Okay, so let's just do some power mopping, and let's see what they say when they see that head. Huh? What is that? The Basu sister just walked over the head. She's all investigating it like it could be a head, it couldn't be. Oh my god, I'm not safe here. Wait, what? Bro, go tell a teacher about the head. Oh, here we go. This guy's investigating the body right here. Oh my god, I'm not safe here. Is nobody gonna tell a teacher? Is she the only one that tells a teacher? Come quick, someone has been dismembered. Dismembered? Take me there right now. Okay, here we go. This is absolutely horrific. How did this happen? I need to call the police. There may be a violent criminal at Academy High School. We need the police right now. Okay, so that's what happens when they react to a head. How about I do this? How about I grab the head and I run with the head? Are they gonna do anything? I got the head. Look, I got the head. Teach. I got the head. Okay, let's see how they react to this. Yeah. Okay. I think they're going to investigate the limbs. Wait, Senpai saw it. Is he going to react? Is that blood? Yes, Senpai. Okay, Senpai is investigating the blood. I should probably tell a teacher. I've been instructed to call the police if I find blood on the premises. I wish I didn't have to do this, but it's mandatory. How about I show her the sword that I used? Look. Look at the sword. Look at this big sword. This big bloody sword. Bro, why does Senpai look high as shit right now? I think it may be due to the fact that I'm in cyborg mode, but once I'm carrying the limbs and stuff, nobody reacts to it. They react to it initially when they see it on the ground, but the fact that I have, like, a head in my hand, they don't react to anything. Literally, everybody's going to this one spot right here. Let me see what they say when I just grab the head. Come on, give me the head. Move, guys. Okay, got the head. I got the head. Guys, I got the head. Okay, I want to see if they officially don't react to anything in my hands. So I have the head. And is that blood? No, it's a head, you dumbasses. Oh, they're reacting to the stuff on the ground. So yeah, maybe it's because I'm in cyborg mode, they don't react to anything in my hand. So let me get out of cyborg mode. Okay, so I got Midori's head in my hand. I don't have any blood anywhere, so they can't react to anything but the head in my hands. So let's see what they do. Come on, react to it. There we go. Oh my god, this can't be happening. So they do react to the head now. Stay away from me. There's been a death at Academy High School. We need help right away. Wait, they're already sending the police? But you didn't even see the head. You didn't even see the glorious green Midori head. Here, let me show the teachers the head. Come on, here we go. Notice the head. Are you lost? Are you lost? Do you have a reason? Do to you be have here? a reason to be here? Really? Stop right now! Oh, what the heck? Do you have a reason what the? <laughs> Get away from no! me! That's my head! Let me actually go to the gym teacher since she's not in an office, so she can notice something right away. She said, "You, you're trying to cover up a crime, aren't you? No, this is the crime." Stop. This is literally the crime. I took her head off. But they do notice the head. So that's what I was wondering. I wanted to know if the teachers actually noticed something in your hands. And they do. I think with the faculty office, I was in a place where I wasn't supposed to be. So that was their first reaction. But the gym teacher noticed me. So we can confirm that the teachers do notice you having something in your hand. Okay, guys. I'm going to try something that I got to do really quick. So what we're going to do, we are going to put Midori's body right in here. Just so she won't teleport with me when I go to the roof. And then I got to change my uniform really quick. Is that blood? Okay, they noticed something right away. So I need to go up here. And I got to clean the blood up really quick. Because what I'm going to do, guys, they're going to notice the blood. But the only thing the teacher is going to see is a bloody uniform. Let's see how she reacts to that. Hey, I found some blood on the ground. Blood, that sounds bad. Show me. Yeah, that does sound bad. But there's no more blood on the ground. All there is is a bloody uniform right over here. Okay. So let's see how they react to all that. Okay, here we go. Teacher's coming up. And she's right on the uniform. 
but she doesn't notice shit. So, was this just a prank? What if I just start mopping right funny. here while she's Don't saying that? Oh, I didn't even have to mop! You, you're trying to cover up a crime, aren't you? No! Stop I'm not! Right I was just bringing this mop to the appropriate place! No! <laughs> God! <laughs> So no! even if you're just holding the mop, they think you're trying to cover up a crime. But the teacher didn't even notice the bloody uniform. They can notice blood, but they don't notice the blood on the uniform because she was stepping right on it. But she didn't even mention anything at all. Guys, I'm just going to start sweeping inside the faculty room. Let's see what she says. What? Why am I going to go to the counselor? While Ayane was in the counselor's office... A corpse was discovered on school grounds. The school faculty was informed of the corpse, and the police were called to the school. No one is allowed to leave the school until a police investigation has taken place. The police arrive at school. The police discovered the corpse of Midori. Okay, wait. Let me just not have a corpse. Let me just start sweeping inside the faculty office, and then let's see what they say. Wait, actually, it says that they can't link me to any crimes, and it says that I stalk Senpai until he has returned home safely. But what am I looking at? Like, what am I actually looking at? All right, let's try this again, guys. I'm sweeping right here. Let's see what they say. Why are you carrying that? It's not cleaning time. Yeah, it is. You look like a damn fool. Oh, my God. Guys, you're giving me anxiety. Leave me alone. Let me just sweep the freaking floor. Okay, but now we're back in the office, so let me just start sweeping right here. Let's see what she says. She says nothing at all. So are you going to send me to the counselor? If I didn't get caught doing anything wrong? They probably are. They're gonna think of some BS excuse, watch. It should be obvious why you're here. It's it actually not. obvious why you're here. What? She, what? The hell? Okay, excuse. Let's see what our excuse is to not even knowing what we did. Interesting. Fuck me, dude. You know what? I'm actually gonna type in ship girl. <laughs> Let me talk to her. Nothing? Okay, can we kill her? No? Okay, yep. I can't get out of here, so... Oh, actually, I can restart the game. Yes! So if you get stuck, guys, all you gotta do is go in ship girl mode and then restart the game. There is one more thing that I want to check out on today's episode, guys. It's that teachers can now react to weapons. And if they're not bloody or used for a crime, they will actually pick the weapon up and they will, like, take it somewhere. I don't know where they're gonna take it, but I dropped the katana for your mama right there. So we are going to laugh, and let's see what this teacher does with this sword. Huh? What is that? Who noticed that? Oh, the student noticed it. Wait, notice the sword! She looked right at me and then went back to her table. Oh, here we go. Hey, I found something dangerous on the ground. That's quite concerning. Please show it to me. So anybody can react to any weapon. That's pretty interesting. That's kind of scary. Who left this here? How irresponsible. I'll take it to the faculty room. Okay, there we go. Wait, what? What? Who? Who pepper sprayed me? One-eyed freak? How did that even happen? Who left this here? How irresponsible. I'll take it to the faculty room. Okay, there we go. And we can't get pepper sprayed because we're back here. What? Dude! No way! That shit got mad range. There you go. The teacher is going to investigate the sword. Who left this here? How irresponsible. I'll take it to the faculty room. Okay, there we go. Finally. I want to see her pick up the sword. There you go. She picked that thing up. And she's running with it. Hasn't anyone taught her not to run with sharp objects like that? You're the one who's irresponsible. She's swinging that sword. Look at that. Look at this girl. She might slice somebody up on accident. Hella running with that sword. The hell's wrong with you? Okay, so she put the sword inside of the box. The hell are you looking at? This guy's just looking at the ground. Look at this guy. The fuck is wrong with you? Okay, this time we got the guitar right here, guys. And this person said that they should tell a teacher. What about you? Come on, look at it. But this teacher is actually going to go pick up the guitar. And I got pepper sprayed. So anytime a student council tells the teacher that I found like something on the ground, I'm going to get pepper sprayed. All right, so we're going to try one more thing, guys. I'm ending a life around cleaning time. We're going to see... Oh, my God. Why did I do this? Okay, we're going to end his life with two. Two for the price of one. We're going to wait for somebody to come up here and notice the blood. Oh, dude, that guy, that guy. Not that guy. Actually, I think I did this wrong. I'm supposed to hide the bodies. They're supposed to just see the blood. Okay, I gotta restart this. Okay, somebody noticed the blood. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go right here. Put the body behind here because nobody ever goes back here. 
Then I'm going to forgive my sins and we're gonna get the mop ready. And I hope the teacher doesn't say anything because it is cleaning time, right? She can't get mad at me for cleaning. I mean, I know I'm not using that sponge in the hand thing. Okay, so I'm just gonna sweep right here, guys. Because I'm not gonna sweep up the blood, so I'm not sweeping up any evidence. And the teacher actually didn't notice anything. Okay. I didn't think that was gonna happen. Wait, let me stand right here. Just start sweeping. She didn't notice anything. How about I laugh? No? I'm trying to get her attention. Look, look at me. I'm sweeping. Okay, she doesn't notice me while I'm sweeping during cleaning time, but let me just like sweep a little bit of the blood. Wait, the teacher didn't notice. Oh, she did. Okay, yes, I am trying to cover up a crime. What you gonna do about it, bitch? Right you gonna come now. get me? I don't think so. I'm dropping this. I'm getting out of here. Oh, shit. Okay, she's gonna get me. She's gonna pin me. Oh, God, I juked her. Oh, I didn't juke her. I juked her, but then I thought I juked her. Oh, oh shit. Guys, I'm juking the hell out of her. Oh. All right, guys, but that's gonna do it for this episode of Yandere Simulator. Teachers and students now react to limbs, weapons, and blood. If you guys enjoyed this episode and want more Yandere Simulator videos in the future, make sure you guys give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude.